All right, here's our uh, center section. I've uh, made some paper glossy cutouts for that. And here are our white gauge faces, which I'll put the stopper needles on and install uh, right now. Hey, Joseph, I have your center cluster back together. About to install your LCD. And I took your uh, yellow uh, transparency here and sanded it clear. So you can have blue lights and not green lights. And uh, I'll stick this thing back together and we'll put it in the car and see how it looks. Okay, Joseph, I have your little side lights. I can get them focused. There we go. And then on this side as well. Very cool. And those, of course, come on when you turn on your headlights. And your center cluster is done. I just need to put it in a case. So, uh, very cool. Let's see if we can scroll through here. We can. Let me uh, close the aperture down so we can see that better. All right, and to set your, uh, your shift light position, just scroll around till you get to uh, uh, your RPM and press the bottom button over here press the bottom button and that will scroll through uh, the RPM numbers and just go up here uh, to wherever you want to set it in fact let me set it a little lower than that if you hold it it'll go in 500 RPM increments uh, okay so let's set it set at two grand so that's where it comes on and a few hundred rpm before that it'll start blinking but once it gets to 2000 it'll stay solid so looks pretty cool I'll post this uh, post this video for you and uh, I'll go on to do your HVAC um, start it tonight I'm sure I won't finish it it's very hard to do those for the 07 06 07 08 all right all right got this little guy in the case and of course we can dim dim it down in fact we can dim all our lights down to next to nothing huh and then the shift light oh it's gone back up to 6600 stand by yeah when you unplug the console or the uh, gauge cluster at shift light resets oh yeah buddy when you turn these things down, it really has, man, that thing is so bright. And then turn it up a little more. And then turn it up all the way. <laughs> oh, you're feeling hot, Roddy. I always turn mine down a little dim. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so, uh... It, it, I, I have your clear needles on here. It looks like this, these two. Oh, and I set your mileage. If I can see it, 60,698 is what I have on there. And I'll just drive it up to your, I'll put it a little below and I'll drive it up to your mileage that you have in the shopping cart. I forget what that was. But, all right, so I'll post this video for you and go to your HVAC. Good night. All right, 3.30 a.m., I'm just a little dingy. I have to take a take two on this one. Uh, 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 the reason I make these videos is, is this exact reason. Uh, we went with a white, uh, um, white gauge faces with clear needles, but in the day, clear needles didn't look good. So we've switched to a black chrono style with a Z logo. And this thing's gonna look just fantastic. I've already swapped the center cluster uh, to black faces as well. And uh, now, oh, I gotta plug in my cluster one more time and set it to mile an hour. And then we're off to the freeway to set the mileage on this guy. All right. Well, not too fast out to the freeway to get that mile an hour needle set because I have my console to put back together. So, um, here I go. And here's a little side note for you do-it-yourselfers. Uh, when you remove your uh, HVAC, it's connected to what's called the AC amplifier. And this ribbon cable right here, that ribbon cable is really easy to mess up. 
In fact, I, I just installed this a few hours ago because I messed up my last one. And I think that's the fourth one I've installed in my car. Because as you take your gauges in and out, this thing just gets crimpled, crinkled and crimped. And uh, get one of these on eBay Motors for about 80 bucks. So anyway, be real careful with this for you do-it-yourself guys. And uh, we're almost ready to go the freeway. Got your mile an hour set. You're going to like this a lot better uh, than the white because they're going to look so much better in the daytime. Let's, let's go up to speed here real quick, see if we can. And uh, make sure it doesn't stick because sometimes they, whoop, this guy's pulling over in front of me. Sorry, Mercedes. Because uh, sometimes they stick at the very top, like 12 o'clock position. Looks like this is plenty smooth and great stuff. And it's still very bright. There's not a speck of red in there when the uh, when the needle turns uh, to white. So let's go back to the house and uh, we'll put it back in the case. But you're you're gonna like this better because uh, in the day it's still gonna look great. All right then. All right, I set it in a little more realistic position. Kind of hard to drive and film and shift. Whoop, wasn't even on the gauges. Anyway, I, I, I raised the shift point up a little bit uh, to 3,500. Give a little more realistic uh, picture of how you might have it. Okay, so um, definitely heading back to the house now and we'll uh, put a case in it. Looks really good though, really does. Uh, and I hope you like it. And I'll post this video uh, before I go to bed and send you a link on your email. Alright, bye Joseph.